G'day guys, Mick here. Uh, so this week's five minute yarn episode, bit of an impromptu one, I wasn't planning to actually do it. But I thought I'd discuss uh, planning a trip. Uh, moreover, the where you go to uh, find out the information that you want, uh, to find out what places you want to visit, what you want to see. So I'm going to put a question out to all you guys, is where do you go? What do you do to work out where, what areas you want to visit, how long you want to stay there, and what to actually see while you're out there, like what tracks to do, uh, what campsites to find, and any other things in town. Like in a couple of weeks, or a few weeks back now, by the time you see this, we're going to Wallenby, um, for just for the night, staying at the tavern, and doing that for my wife's birthday. Um, and then I've done a little bit of research online and I found about the museum and things like that so we're going to go and check all them out so what do you guys use um, what websites do you go to uh, Facebook pages whatever it might be um, what apps do you use or yeah whatever basically what do you use to work out where you're going what you um, yeah, work out where you're going and what you want to see. Personally, because I haven't been on Facebook for quite some time, I've literally just reactivated my page, my account, and I've started a Mix 4WD Touring Facebook page. So go check that out if you haven't already. Um, I don't want to get sucked into the whole friggin' world of social media again like I did before when I ran Aussie Carp for shows. Um... But yeah, I was, for the most part I use, bloody lighting's among all this morning. For the most part I use Wikicamps, uh, Google Maps, and just random Google searches um, to work out where I want to go. And then when it comes to planning routes, I find Gaia GPS is really good. Um, yeah, I find Gaia GPS is really good for planning routes. Um, <coughs> the VMS, well, if you've watched all my videos and seen the review I did on that, I think it leaves a lot to be desired. But with Google Earth and with Gaia GPS, you can save your maps and you can import them into the VMS. So I think that's quite a good thing. Um, so yeah, normally I use Gaia GPS to plan the route or Google Earth to plan the route and put down waypoints, but it's sort of a matter of finding the waypoints a lot of the time, <clears throat> finding places to go and see. Uh, when we did the Wallenby trip, I actually went through Google Earth Street View and followed that the exact route. It took me a couple of hours. Followed the exact route via Street View and had, I did it actually, sorry, through Google Maps, but I had Google Earth open off to the side. Followed the whole route through Street View and then I pinned all the little places, points of interest that I wanted to see um, through Google Maps, uh, through Google Earth, and then imported that into the VMS. Um, it was a pain in the ass, but I'm and I'm sure there's better ways. So, but yeah, where do you go, guys? What to get inspiration to find new places? Places that you haven't been before, haven't seen. Um, walking trails, lookouts, um, any any points of interest. Uh, free camps, obviously I know Wiki Camps is really good for that. Uh, but free camps, <clears throat> even just those little hidden secluded campsites that we all love, that we don't want to tell anyone else about. Um, other than literally getting out and exploring. Where do you guys go to find your information for when you're doing a trip? Again, wiki camps, go GPS and just Google. So far I've been mine. I have just reactivated Facebook as mentioned. So I guess I'll probably add a couple of touring pages and get a few ideas out of them too. But yeah. All right guys, that's about me five minutes. So I'm going to shut up and leave it at that. All right, peace guys. Take care and I'll see you on the tracks.